I'm good, how about you? What are you most looking forward to about getting out there with the entire defense on Saturday? Uh, who's going to make that first play? Um, we need to, um, I feel this year we challenge each other who's going to get the first interception, who's going to get the TFL, who's going to get the PBU. So I just, the level of competition been the best this year. We've been challenging each other each and every week um, in fall camp and in workouts. So who's going to make that first play? I feel we're really good. I just, the level of experience from BJ, Kobe, and even Jordan Riley and Kendra's just, um, we push each other each and every day to be the best um, with communication out there and just trying to make a play and just doing everything, doing your job and trying to help the guys around you. I feel we've been trying to get that and I feel this safety group can be the best in the nation. What's kind of the next step that you, you want to see for, for yourself? Um, I'll say try to be proactive when adversity strikes. Try to limit them adversity strikes when going down on 10, giving up a big um, explosive. We always talk about explosives, but trying to limit those each game. You know, this is a defense with a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. How much, I guess, does it help you guys to start this year knowing that, you know, in those first few games, you do have to play some experienced quarterbacks yeah. who, uh, you know, have played a lot recently? Mm -hmm. I feel what our experience is good, just the communication level has been up. I'll say that's just the biggest thing. We preach about communication, and then we all got a guy that's experienced. So now we need to take it to the next level and be professionals and try to help, the, like I said, help the guys around you. Um, linebackers try to help linebackers and safeties and the D line and DBs need to help the linebackers because we all learn and um, go over different things. So we just try to put that all together. What challenges has Avery Johnson presented this defense during practice? And I guess how much does it help you guys as a unit? Just being a dual third quarterback, he can. If you give him time and you give him space, he can run around the pocket and make a throw, or he can get out of there and get ten extra yards just to. A, um, extend drives. So that's the biggest thing. I feel he's the biggest um, guy that can extend drives. What's it been like playing next to Jordan Riley the last couple of weeks? It's been huge. Jordan Riley, um, he brings it every day. He, how his mindset is, is to get better. He wants to learn each and every day and master his craft. And he plays fast. He fits the holes. He's ready. He wants to hit the holes every time. He gets mad if you don't get a run fit and you can't meet Jimmy or DJ in the hole. He gets mad about that. And just his level of experience just helps us around us, um, helps me, help Kobe, help DJ. Just all the things he does, it just helps the team. So he, he likes to hit, man? Oh, I yeah, think definitely. You're yeah. going to see. Coaches have raved about Jacob Parrish and mm -hmm. Keenan Gardner's growth as, I guess, the safety and mm -hmm. the leader of that backfield. How have you seen them grow, and how important is it to have two guys who have played as much as they have? I definitely say K1 going on his second year, his – Man technique improved way more more than what I thought it can be. I thought he was already a good man tech, but how he been during this fall camp has been um, phenomenal. And with Jacob, he's always been a dog. Um, he's gonna stay a dog, and just he wants to be the best. He wants. I know he feel or people think he's undersized, but he played like he's six three. So he's gonna prove people wrong, and K one gonna prove people wrong. Is there like a young guy right now that has impressed you a lot during fall camp that uh, you know think is maybe not gonna. I'll contribute right away, but is someone to look out for uh, as the season goes on? Um, I'll probably say Jordan Allen and Ryan Davis. Those two guys been giving our old line in trouble, and they make um, a lot of disruption, and they do um, they create holes for us that we can just run through. So them two is definitely big ones. After missing the opener last year, is it? I don't know. Is there any extra excitement about this one? Oh yeah, this is what I've been waiting for a full season. Last year, I was mad that I wasn't out there with my guys. This year, I want to make it up to them and try to get. Um, do the, um, the best I could la or what I missed last year into this year. How excited are you to walk through the tunnel on Saturday night and you know, see that to, to open the season? Uh, I've been dreaming of it every night. So it just, I said out there, I might cry just cause going into my last year, just um, just want to take it all in. Just cause um, I've been blessed. Um, God blessed me this year, just with everything, just with this opportunity being captain and everything I got. So it just, the assignment's gonna be high.